<clears throat> okay, Aries. The overall energy of your reading. The King of Pentacles. This is Earth. So be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Might be strong in your chart or in somebody else's chart around this reading. But what's most important here, male or female, uh, the King of Pentacles is holding that pentacle and really studying it, cherishing it. Uh, it seems to me the overall energy of this reading is about security, stability, groundedness with somebody that you love because in your highest energy is a Ten of Cups. This is joy, love, Ten Cups of it, rainbows and sunshine. This is union between two people. I think you're in love with someone, and now you're thinking about commitment. Next to the Ten of Cups is the Hangman. Seeking advice from the universe. You need, you have, you know, you need guidance uh, as far as right above the King of Pentacles. So I think you're wondering, um, you know, what the truth of the matter is, because it's right next to the Ace of Swords. So I think you're seeking the truth from the universe about whether or not this will become a grounded, secure, and stable relationship, possibly a commitment. So I always look around the hangman. The hangman's very important. The hangman is the card of enlightenment. So you're in love with someone. You're thinking about, you know, spending the rest of your life with them. You're thinking about commitment. You want truth and you want clarity from the universe, wherever you can get it, um, about whether or not this might pan out the way that you want it to. And, and you know, you're, you're in love. <laughs> so under the Ten of Cups is a Two of Wands. So this is standing there. You have the whole world in your hands. But you're hanging on to that staff here. This is a staff of new beginnings and fresh starts. You are wondering. It's like... It's like just standing there, just like a picture look, standing there, looking out over the world, sort of like those Twizzler commercials where he, they're gnawing on a piece of licorice and they're just thinking and wondering, you know, about things. This is what you're doing. And you're wondering where your world is going to go. So, without the commitment yet, and I don't think you have it just yet, um... You are wondering if this is going to happen and where it's going to go. How your life is going to look in this world moving forward. On the other side of the King of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. This is under the Ace of Swords. So you are on guard. You're on guard. It's like the truth. Because it's under the Ace of Swords. The, the Ace of Swords is all about truth and clarity and usually through conversation. So hold, having your sword up, you're on guard. So you're kind of in self-protection mode. You're not swinging it or anything. You're just kind of in this place of needing to know the truth um, because you feel like you don't want to be the only one feeling this way in this relationship. So you really need to seek the truth. And it, you know, it's for your own good. It's for it's something you need. It's under the under the two of wands. Is the ace of cups? See? You got the ten of cups up here in your highest energy. We have the two of wands looking out there wondering if this is where your life is going to be leading you. And the ace of cups. You are so in love with someone here. It might be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or they might have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart someplace. But the ace of cups. Oh my gosh. And the ace of cups is sitting right next to the ace of pentacles. There's that commitment. This is exactly the overall energy, exactly what you have your mind on, is that commitment. Will they offer it to you? Hmm. Will you offer it to them? Hmm. This is what you're seeking now. This is where you feel like this relationship should be going. Next to the Ace of Pentacles is the Six of Cups. Soulmate. You might have known this person since childhood. Uh, they are a soulmate. That is the connection that you feel when you're looking into each other's eyes. You both feel it. Um, this cup that they're offering you does have a flower in it, so they are sincere. Um, but you've definitely known each other in other lifetimes. And that is your connection. Soulmate. That's why they call it. You have many soulmates out there. The, this one is um, uh, very sincere. 
about it, about this relationship. Let's take out more cards. We need to find out, if we can, where this is going exactly, or what else to expect for Aries universe. One more shuffle for Aries. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat this morning. For Aries, what do we need to know? Okay, so Aries, up here in your highest energy, the Magician, next to the Ace of Swords. Um, it's about the infinity symbol, for one thing. This is the symbol of intuition and knowing. So your intuitions are running really high. And if you listen to yourself, you're going to know what to do. You're going to have a lot of your own answers, and you're going to know what to do. You have all the tools to make whatever it is happen that, you've been, that you so much desire. You have a cup of love. You have the pentacle for stability and security. These are things you can offer. You have a wand, which is like in the two of wands, of fresh starts and new beginnings, and the sword, which is right next to the sword of truth and the sword of clarity. Aries, the magician, is manifesting. So you have the capability to manifest this into the relationship that you desire. <clears throat> and that's over here. We know what you desire. The magician is right next to the king of cups. This is water. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer might be strong in your chart someplace or in somebody else's chart around this reading. The king, male or female. This is you. This is you holding on to that giant cup of love. Um, so you do. I mean, I can't express... You know, you are really in love, and you're really feeling like uh, you're just wondering, because you've reached out to the hangman, whether they feel the same way. So you're kind of like, don't... What the King of Cups does is they, they kind of hold back a little bit on that love. They're not really handing it out fully, and I don't think you can until you know the truth about this relationship, on whether they feel the same. If they feel the same, you're just going to be like, oh... Wow, here, here's my cup of love. <laughs> so next to the King of Cups is the Page of Pentacles. Really examining this whole situation. Really, you know, it's like trying to see in the crystal ball. You're really trying to figure out if there is a possibility for a commitment here. Really looking at that pentacle. Really looking at that pentacle. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Under the Magician is the star. This is the card for Aquarius. Aquarius might be strong in your chart someplace or in somebody else's chart around this reading. Uh, but this is about healing. So uh, there has been some very spiritual healing going on here. And I don't know if this is with you or them. But I feel like this is more with you. I think you've already been through it before. Because it's next to the Page of Swords, and it's under the Magician. I, I don't know if you have um, all the confidence in yourself that this relationship, that you've chosen the right person, and you're focused on the right person. I think there's a little bit of mistrust going on here in yourself. Not really in them, you know. It's like in your choices. So, um, the star is a very deep spiritual healing card it's what seeing your own reflection bounce back at you and healing down to your bare bones this is something you have been through so you have had previous relationships sometime in your life uh, that you had to really do some deep healing over but now you have this other relationship here that you're very much focused on uh, this pentacle here Next to, oh, you know what? This might be the same person, too. This might be the same person that has come back. I think there's two ways to read this reading, I feel like. I feel like one way is there's going to be celebration. There's going to be cheers. When you have this truthful and honest conversation, it's going to turn into a celebration. And you're going to exchange cups of love. It's going to be a happy time getting the truth out in the open from both parties. Either that or someone is returning. And if somebody is returning, it's this person over here that you're thinking about. 
that you need the truth from, that you've already healed from once, okay? There's two different scenarios going on here. This is a general reading. So I'm going back to the original scenario, which is you've done all this healing from the past. Uh, you're going to have this truthful and honest conversation. It's going to be celebratory. It's going to be happy, rejoiceful. That Three of Cups is next to the Nine of Cups. This is under the Page of Pentacles. Remember I said you were holding back that cup of love a bit? Well, this is the Nine of Cups, and this is holding back love too. You know you have, your heart is filled. Your heart is filled with love for this person over here. But your question is, because they don't, they don't really come right out. Uh, they're not blubbery, lovey-dovey type energy. So they don't really come out and, and, you know, tell you what they're feeling all the time. So you're like guessing that they're feeling the same way. So it's almost like they, they have all this love. And I think this is what the cards are saying. But they just been, haven't been handing it out the way that you feel uh, should be handed out by now. But I think it will. I think once you have this truthful and honest conversation, it's going to manifest. The magician's pointing right at the Three of Cups. So this is celebration. And I think you're both going to be able to exchange love. And I think they're going to be able to, um, you know, tell you the truth about how they feel and um, be honest and clear about it. They are a soulmate. Don't forget that they are sincere. Under the star card, this healing, deep, 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 is the Hermit. So the Hermit is a card for Virgo. And so, you know, we have Earth in the middle of your reading here. Uh, but Virgo uh, may or may not be in your chart someplace or in somebody else's chart around this reading. Seeking advice from the universe about your path forward. See, this is about your path forward. You're wondering... Where you're going to go from here with this relationship. Well, the hermit is shining the lantern right on the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, this soulmate, is where you're headed. I think this soulmate's going to stick around for a while. And they're going to stick around. Right next to the hermit here is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is under this really happy, joyful um, coming together of love. The Queen of Swords, male or female, this is air energy. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, so, Aries, this is seeking the truth. This is asking the truth. Your sword is up here. Your sword is up here. This is on the other side of the Hermit. So, what the Hermit is saying is this truth and this clarity is going to bring joy to your life. Because I think you're worried about bringing it up. Um, but I think it's something you have to bring up um, so that you know, you know, what direction. That's the whole point. What direction are you going in this relationship? So the Queen of Swords, the, she has questions, male or female, about the love, you know. And this, this Seven of Cups is right under the Nine of Cups where they're kinda, they kind of hold back the love. They're not really out front with it, but they feel it. They have it. They have it. <laughs> So you're wondering, and part of your questions is, are you one of these cups here? Because all these cups are, they have something else in them. There's something more important than love, the love, the relationship in these cups. These are like relationships maybe that fell apart or relationships that couldn't come together because um, they were focused on something else. So this is like getting to the bottom of it. You know, how do you feel about me? I am confused on whether or not you love me the way I love you. I'm going to take out one more card. The Eight of Cups. We've got the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, <laughs> the Ace of Cups. But in the Eight of Cups, it's about you wondering, because I always said it right here, it's about the truth. So you're wondering which way are you going to go in this relationship? Are you going to go walk away or are you going to stay in it? And is this relationship going to work? Well, it looks like you're going to stay in it. And all, through all this truthful and honest conversation, 
um, it really comes to that bottom line on what direction you're going to move forward in life, like I was saying. But it's right, you know, having the magician right here too. Um, yeah, so you're manifesting the truth. And you're also manifesting, here's a cup. This is probably the cup uh, that you want to hand out right here. Um, manifesting that this will be a joyous occasion. This will be a coming together of cups. You're not going to have to walk away and find uh, somebody who's willing to commit um, and love you at the same time. So, wow, Aries, this is your reading.